Hey guys, today we are in Cleveland, Ohio on West 11th Street, better known as good old Cleveland Street. Whose house are we in front of, Bobby? Ralphie Parker's. This is a tradition for Bobby and I to come up here and tour this house. We've done it before, but for you guys who are new to our channel, thought you might like seeing it in case you didn't see one of the old ones. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys, your GPS is gonna tell you to turn right, right here. Don't do it. That's a one-way street. Let's go up to the next one. Head down this way. Raleigh Avenue. Let's head to the Christmas Story House. So when you come to visit the Christmas Story House, it's on West 11th Street. Look above it. Good old Cleveland Street. That's the first tour of the day coming out. Usually the first tour is always packed. You might want to wait two or three tours later. Go on that one, there'll be less people in there. Because sometimes I think they'll take up to 40 people in that house. Way too many. This house is up for sale. So if anybody out there wants to buy it, there's the phone number. Contact Chad. You think Bobby should be buy it? I don't think so. I don't think we can afford that. I don't think we could afford it, John. I am not sure what the price is, but if you need to own it, you're gonna get that and the Bumpus house and the museum and everything that goes with it. Hopefully whoever buys it will keep it the same, not change it. Now, the Bumpus house was never shown in the movie, but Brian Jones bought this house. Smart move, turned it into a two floor hotel, basically. You can rent the top out, the bottom, or rent the whole house out. It's a lot cheaper than staying at Ralphie's house. I think the uh, stay at the Christmas Story house is over $700 a night this time of year. Across the street, Bobby and I recommend eating here at the Raleigh Inn. We have a video from here, and Guy Fietti has also been here. Pretty decent food. The upstairs was used as like a makeup place when the movie was going on, and Darren McGavin and a lot of the actors would go in there and have something to drink and get something to eat. Just catty corner from the house. Now, after Brian Jones bought this house, he also helped everybody in this neighborhood repair their homes by putting on new roofs and sidings. I thought that was a pretty good thing to do. Restored all these houses. So let's head home from school to see if our decoder pins here. This is where Ralphie ran down the sidewalk to get to his house, see if his decoder pin was there. Right by Swartz's house. And where Randy fell in the snow. Half of that was filmed right here. And the other half was filmed in Canada. It's like a split scene. Don't know why they did that. That's what they did. There's the Parker residence. This looks weird with the for sale sign on it. Go past the hedges. And we'll check the mailbox. Now in the movie, the mailbox is right here. And they used to have the original mailbox out front. I think they were afraid someone was gonna steal it. So let's look. It is empty. No decoder pin today, but standing here is a scene from the movie. When you see him coming to check it out, he'll go right there to those hedges. This angle is from the movie when Ralphie came up after soap poisoning. He couldn't see anymore. Walked right up those steps, right to this door. Now in the movie, in this driveway, the old man would come up 
and the bumpus hounds would come from over there and attack them. And it was filmed out that window right there. In the movie, it seems like that's Ralphie's bedroom. But in this house, his bedroom is in the front. So let's go from the front porch to the backyard. And there's the famous shed with marauders are crawling all over top of it. Now, in the movie, Ralphie is in the kitchen. He's gonna shoot Black Bart, who is right over there and all the marauders are in the trees outside of a window, a kitchen window. What was filmed in this house, but the kitchen window has been covered up, but right there is where it was. One of the few scenes inside the kitchen that's used in the movie. Ralphie is shooting his Red Rider BB gun. He comes out that door right in this area, aims at that sign. He thinks he shoots his eye out. Big icicle came off that. Now if an icicle came off that roof, probably gonna do some serious damage. Being a fan of this movie, it is so cool to be in this backyard knowing all those movie scenes were filmed right here in this area. Now Black Bart rides up on the horse right in there. In the movie you can also see all these steel mills in the background. Still there today. In case you guys wanna see in this building, just take a peek. There it is. Still in decent shape. Black Bart was out here being shot at from Ralphie outside the house. This line is to accommodate our guests with a disability. Please visit the gift shop to get your ramp access pass. Just come back this way. Now, Brian Jones, when he purchased this house, he made it handicap accessible by putting this ramp back here. Something else missing? If you watch the movie, there was a house here at one time. It has burnt down. It's amazing it didn't catch this house on fire. The one thing missing I'd like to see him put back here are the monkey bars that you see to go across the back. It'd be cool if they could find some of those and put those in. Nice and peaceful. I'm in between tours pretty soon. Everybody will be coming out here into the backyard to see everything. Little trivia fact about the Bumpus dogs. Those were trained police dogs. And they went in and outside of that door. Walking by, I think I can hear the old man downstairs working on his furnace. If you listen real close, you might hear him. Our ticket stub. We should have waited a couple more tours down because this one is loaded with people, but it's busier. Yep, it's Christmas time. That's what's going to happen. Do you think they used the whole home for this movie? No. no? Excellent guess, excellent guesses. However, we would use the outside and the inside of this home for this film, right? So a lot of people think, oh, you know, I'm really familiar with the trivia of this movie. I know that you guys built a soundstage in Toronto, Canada, and you filmed some inside scenes there as well, which is absolutely correct. But we would film inside scenes here in Cleveland too. 
And there's actually a way to tell next time you guys are watching the movie whether or not it seems to <coughs> inside of here, right? If you can see outside of the windows and there's an actual neighborhood and stuff going on uh, and colors and things moving around, you're definitely filming inside of this home here in Cleveland. But if you can see outside of the windows and it's only a black, white, or gray backdrop, you're filming on the soundstage in Toronto, Canada, right? Next, Darren McGavin. He was actually not the the first option that they wanted to play the dad. They were looking initially at an A-list celebrity actor in the early 80s. Who do you think they were looking at? I heard some names, just start screaming them out. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase, excellent guess. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, excellent guess. That would have been a cool movie. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Any other guesses? Jack Nicholson. Ja yes, do you want to work here? <laughs> yeah? He's, yeah, I'll work. You, yeah, he's, he's got the camera ready, he's recording all this, he's studying. He goes home at night, he's going to be studying for his tour test, okay? So, here's another movie scene right here in this front door is where the Bumpus Hound's ear gets stuck. Darren McGavin closes it up right there. Now, in the movie, when you see Randy getting dressed, it was filmed right here and also the unboxing of the leg lamp they bring it right through that door one of the few scenes filmed inside the house now the steps we are about to head up were built when they redid this house for tours to make it look like it did just like when ralphie came down him in his bunny suit as soon as you come up the steps you have this sewing room in front of you but the thing about this room is that window. That's where the studio filmed outside of to show you that scene where Darren McGavin was being attacked by the dogs when he came home from work. They did a nice job in this room putting stuff from that time period of the movie. Now let's go to Ralphie's bedroom. Here's Ralphie's bedroom. Look his glasses over there, huh? There's his theme and his glasses. And there's his look out the window, but in the movie, wasn't facing that way. Some trucks. If you look closely, you can see the Red Rider BB gun back in that corner. Some blocks, Monopoly game. Old movie posters, but this wallpaper is a replica of what was used in the movie. Let's head into the bathroom. Look what we have. Light boy. People have put that in their mouth. Probably got it in his mouth. Yeah, he did. Versus decoder pen. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Kind of looks the same, it's the same sides on it. Yeah. Who's on there? Sports his mom. Oh, is he screaming? Listen to that, guys. Ralphie blamed Swartz for that. That's neat how they do that with the interactive. Something else in the movie, when they're looking at the snow, they are looking out these windows right at the end. Look at this, guys. Look at that mess. That is a fire hazard. And they put some props in here. Have the Red Rider BB gun. Can of Simon Eyes and the blue bowling ball. The star is crooked. <laughs> the 
Now, in the movie, Randy gets underneath there, but this is not the original sink. But a lot of people like coming here and taking their picture under there. I do have a lot of old school items in here, though. And there's a turkey over there. And the Bumpus's dogs in the movie go through that door or come in through that door. That is original. That happened. And the old man's down there working on the furnace. You can hear it. Let's see if I get down low enough. That's pretty neat. And here's Randy's bib. It used to be pink. Change colors. It's getting old. Display cases with some clothes from the movie. There's Ralphie's shoes, hat, and gloves. The original mailbox. So his jacket and his PJs. Turn around here, have some items from the front window of Higby's. Remember this tank going across the front. And these Ferris wheels. Some scenes from it. Now here's Swartz's jacket, cap and scarf, and flicks outfits. The old man's jacket. Yep, that's the only item they have from Darren McGavin in this whole place. Still in pretty decent shape. Here's Grover Dills and Farkas's hats and Grover Dills jacket. That is the original sign that Ralphie shoots at in the backyard. Now these costumes are from the deleted Flash Gordon scene, and I don't think there's any footage of this still in existence. I think they deleted it all. Now this is the original chalkboard from the school that Teddy Moore, who played Mrs. Shields, wrote A++ on, and she also put that on there for this museum. These are the waiters costumes from the Chop Suey Palace at the end of the movie. This display case has the famous snowsuit that they put on Randy and some other outfits that he wore throughout the movie. But I like this here to the right. There is his bib from the famous mashed potato scene. And this is Melinda Dillon's robe in this case. I think that's the only thing they have from her in here. So they have a little dedication here for Bob Clark. It's a nice bench you can sit on and just look at the house. He and his son were killed in a head-on collision on April 4, 2007. I think so here, look at Ralphie's house. The vet looks pretty at nighttime. It does, we've never seen it like that. This is where they were standing when they were looking at the leg lamp. 
Bob was asking the old man, what is that? That's a major award, right on this spot. I think if you go on their website, they have a camera outside and you can see it at all hours. And once in a while, they'll put a gigantic pink nightmare out here. We've never seen that either, that'd be cool to That's see. That's when they did the races. I don't think they did those this year. Nope, they were canceled this year. Normally when you come here, you can see the replica of the old man's car. It's in that garage, but I ask him, it's out on loan. Now this is a replica of the fire truck. If you notice, it says Holman. The movie was based out of Holman, Indiana. But the fire truck they used was from Canada. It was from Chippewa. And in the movie, when the fire truck rolls up, if you look close, I don't know if you can see it in this picture, it says Chippewa right on it. If you want to see that truck, it's on display in Canada today. They had this done up pretty nice. Some fire uniforms in here, so it's kind of like walking into a fire station. And it tells you a little bit of history about the truck. It says the original fire truck used in the film is owned and operated by the Chippewa Volunteer Firefighters Association in Niagara Falls, Canada. Another movie scene location, right in the beginning of the movie, the kids run across the street and head up there, right past, which is now the museum. If you can't find any parking next to the house, right next to the gift shop, it's another parking area. And you can park on the street and find one there. Well, what did you think about your tour of the Christmas Story house today, Bobby? We've done this tour probably at least, what, five or six mm -hmm. times. It never gets old. I always enjoy it. It was just really crowded today, so my advice would be to come in the summertime, off-season. I mean, it is December, and everybody's wanting to see it. Yeah, because if you want to see every room with this many people, it's going to be hard to do it. You kind of feel rushed, and especially in the museum, don't come in December. And we are here on a weekday, and it is still very crowded. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.